hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel okay y'all know where y'all at Deb Chanel's 4 days world where we get down and we talk about it and everything and mostly it be celebrities okay but we are in another segment called don't be telling my business and I'm like I got to because it's scandalous yes it's marvelous in my prince voice, okay? It is a scandalous story tonight over here at Deb's house, okay? Riri said they lies, they lies, they lies. But I'm like, no, Riri, these are not lies. Even Prince know they ain't lies, okay? Because he, he's giving us that look like, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? And of course, Claire has dropped her head in shame because Nene is walking the shame walk. Okay, it's almost like that shame walk you walk after you spent the night with a questionable person. And you're trying to see if anybody recognizes you as you try to escape from the hotel or the motel or the holiday inn. You know, the shame walk you have to get from wherever you at. And you need to get home, get everything off of you for us, a wash up or a shower or a bathtub bath to, oops, shit, to get the stench out. Good Lord, I waste water, guys, on my, my computer. Ooh, hopefully it won't do anything. But anyway, we're going to keep on keeping on. We're going to keep on taping. All right. But child, honey baby, Nene is claimed to fame out there with TMZ watching her every move. I call them the baby paparazzi out here in all the 52 states. Wherever there's a celebrity, they're trying to get that news. But do y'all remember when Nene Leakes said, close your legs to married men? What she was talking about, that lady right there. And he was Big Papa at, at the time. And this was when the Housewives of Atlanta was fresh. Just had started coming on. Giving us salacious storylines. And scandalous uh, news. Yup, yup, yup. Kim Zosette was supposedly messing around with a playboy who happened to be married. Of course, married. But that didn't stop her. She didn't care. It was just is what it is. He got tired of his wife. He wanted to sit there and spend money and time with her. She's like, come on, big papa. Now I can see Andy Cohen somewhere in his room just laughing up a storm at Nene Lee's. Just laughing out of y'all. Yep, because she got egg on her face. And to me, it seems like she owes and Kim should be demanding an apology, if it's at all true. And TMZ got it. Mm-hmm. And Hollywood Life got it. Mm-hmm. Daily Mail got it. The Sun, the Boss Up, all got it. That Nene is doing one of Kim's tricks. Mm-hmm. And do y'all remember way back when, when Nene Leakes told Cynthia's then-husband, Peter Thomas, that he was an itch. That he acted like a woman. And he'd stay out of woman's businesses. And stuff of that nature. Well how is it. Lord how is it. That her and Peter became best buds. Best friends. And Cynthia is out. Okay. She divorced Peter. They went their separate ways. And somehow Nene and Peter became closer friends. All right. Unbeknownst to Cynthia, but you know, Cynthia always was clueless. And Peter really didn't want to be married to her because he didn't understand her. She was just slow, you know. So those two were at odds with one another, but now they're best buds. And from what Peter said, he was best buds with the late uh, Greg Least, which is Nene's ex husband, well, yeah, ex husband, deceased husband. And I'm guessing he did need no favor because he wasn't doing Greg no favor by introducing his wife at the time to some of his friends. 
his wealthy Nigerian friends. Y'all like, yeah, you sit up there and shout out to the Jasmine Brand. Y'all don't know who she is. Google her and go over to her YouTube channel and check her out. Tell her Dale Chanel sent y'all over there too. But yeah, she made a fool out of Cynthia by cussing out her husband and calling her husband a itch. All right. I'm like, did Nene give a playbook to Portia? Or did Portia give a playbook um, to Nene about dating married men and trying to get away with it? If you can keep it on the low, low, that's even better. But yeah, everybody or really high up uh, blogging sites is saying that she is dating a married man. I don't know what the name man name is. Nio, Neo, something like that. But he's supposed to be a close friend. Shout out to the Jasmine brand again and Freddie O. Okay, just using that little clip. And that seems to be Kiki Wyatt and her husband, okay? And we know she got about a, fi- a football team down there. But um, that doesn't look like Shamia's husband. I don't know who that is. She might be swinging too. But do y'all remember that man? That man was uh, on one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta's uh, uh, seasons. And Nene was supposed to be dating him. I think he's an Italian guy. He was rich as well. But Nene couldn't handle that Caucasian man. Mm -mm. Even when the show was taping, you could tell Nene was very uneasy with him. So I was like, what? What's wrong, Nene? He ain't your speed, girl. And we know you're not a racist. You don't care which color, culture, or or ethnic background. Just as long as it's money involved. And then this young man, you supposed to be dating him. He's in Baltimore where you spend a lot of time. And Greg was, you know, trying to take care of his situation. Uh, and why are you telling Kim Zosia to be closing her legs to marry me? What are you doing, Nene? What are you doing? Because this man, from my understanding, he was supposed to have been uh, married, too. So what's going on, girl? You just married, messing with married men because you don't want a full-time man on your own? Hell, you should mess with a uh, crazy man over there, Peter Thomas. But I think Peter Thomas think you're a little bit too old for him. And you're not his speed. So he thought he would set you up with his friend, his rich friend from Nigeria. Okay? Now, I'm like, what about um Marlo? Marlo is a call girl. How class call girl? That's what the streets are saying allegedly. I don't know if it's true or not, but I can tell you she ain't messing with no broke, broke, broke eagles. Okay, but she know a lot of people, a lot of wealthy men. Okay, they're not in our race, but you know, could she have uh, solicited um, Marlo's expertise in finding her somebody? Why would she go to Peter Thomas of all people? I mean, he just took Cynthia money just recently. She had his behind in court. And somehow she relinquished it and just resolved him of his debt to her. Now, who is that man Nene messing with? He looked kind of suspect, if you know what I mean. But it just is what it is. Yeah, Whitney, he looked kind of suspect. But I don't know who that man was. But this man is supposed to have like a, uh, what do you call it? A businessman, casual man. Uh, outlet store where he sells uh, suits for the businessman and the casual look because he was up there fitting uh, Brent for some suits and stuff uh, for her, I guess his wardrobe to look the part of being a businessman but yeah that man in that lavender suit child he's supposed to be married okay and there go Portia and, and, and G man looking old as dirt but it just is what it is and shout out to Layla Lynn. Uh, go check her out. She's a, a very known blog out here. Uh, has a large following. And she has very interesting videos and com- uh, com- commentary that you can get with. So go check her out too. Layla Lynn. But yeah, Nene was giving Greg a hard time for just having companionship of talking with someone while she was out doing her thing. Nene came back and fired that woman. I'm like, what? What is going on? You can do what you want to do, but you don't want Greg to do what he need to do. Why you were gone and quiet as a kept. I don't think he did and, and allowed someone going to speak it out. But just have dinner with her. Just have a conversation. They just talked on the phone. And you was like, you shut that shit down when you found out. Okay. And one of your employees had to tell you. Oh, that shows how out of touch you were. But I don't know. I don't know. Nene, you don't need to be losing your money to this man. Okay. Because 
I mean, anybody can scam. You just don't have to be a different culture or a certain culture or a certain race because anybody can scam you in any ethnic, ethnic background, culture, or race. You can get scammed. Doesn't matter. So, uh, I don't know, man. Kermit the Frower is looking at you like you're crazy. We really think you need to apologize and we think you need to do it in, in the public eye. You need to apologize to, um, even a uh, witness agreeing to she's kind of perplexed about the whole deal of you messing with a married man and then you telling this uh young woman kim zoziak that she need to close her legs to married men but you sitting up out there holding on to this man holding on yes you were holding on tight for dear life all right what if his wife came and whether she's estranged ex- well, exchange not exchange but estranged or I don't know, maybe she's going through a dementia stage and she don't know, like, know quite where her husband is at this time. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure it out too, Prince. I'm trying to figure it out because, like I said, I don't think I would be soliciting the help of Peter Thomas to be finding me a suitor or a companionship of a partner. I, I just couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? And, like I said, hey... The man might be that he need to take you for all your money. Have you ever thought about that, baby girl? Baby girl. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. The situation just don't seem right. It seems like Portia is watching your every move because she's messing with the same type of gentleman who's supposed to have this, that, and the third. But Portia's buying him everything including his wardrobe to look like a businessman and of course it seems like andy corn just still laughing in the in the cut at home chilling and just watching it all unfold with egg being on both you meaning nene lease and portia's face i'm just saying i'm just saying man's supposed to be uh down with y'all like four fat tires but it seems like with portia he adding adding her out or they're editing her out to be pretty much a loser a gullible, naive person. Um, it's, it's just terrible. And now they're dragging down her family in this Portia Family Matters situation. And the ratings are going down, down, down. And today going to be done. Uh, it's just going to be done. Got you raced to a certain degree. Where nothing is going on for Portia. But bad luck. Okay. And debt. She's going to have to pay. Fooling with Simon. Go, yeah, you know who it is. But like I said. Nene always wanted to say she like my little sister. So either Nene te- teaching her how to mess with married men or Portia's showing her the ropes. Go figure which one do y'all believe what's going on. But let's get on into this article that TMZ had put out on uh, Miss Nene Leakes confirming that she is dating. Okay. But it was uh, this exclusive uh, detailing commentary that they were doing and uh they titled it real housewives of atlanta star nene leaks i'm dating again after late husband's death and i'm like nene as quiet as it kept and loud as i'm gonna speak it out we think or i should say i think that you have already been dating before greg head got cold before he got into a situation where he was comatized and he wasn't you know, noticing that y'all were around him. Or maybe he could hear y'all, but he couldn't verbally speak it out. And maybe his eyes was closed because you said he was transitioning and this, that, and third. He probably was high on a lot of pain medication because that's what hospice does when um, they let you retire at home and let you pass naturally or whatnot. They pump you up with a lot of pain medicine because they don't want you to be in pain, okay? As you're transitioning to the other plane of existence. So I'm like, Nene, is it plausible? Hell, even when you and Greg called yourself divorced and he was still living at the house downstairs. It's not like y'all got rid of each other physically. So that's a hot mess. And then you're going to check him on trying to find some companionship. When you were on the road doing your acting gigs and your comedy gigs, and he didn't have anybody to talk to, so he enlisted your one of your workers, uh, managers at your, one of your swag boutique shops, and you know she was they weren't uh, playing tiddlywinks and 
uh, closing up with one another. No, they were just trying to pass the time away. And she was just uh, filling in where you were leaving off, Nene. Except for the bed. At least I'm thinking it wasn't the bed thing. It was just platonic. And they were just having dinner conversations just to pass the time away. They weren't getting in like Big Papa. Paying for the Uzi, you know what I'm saying? Paying for the Uzi job. Oh, it seems like it should be a law against it, but I guess she was, uh, he, it's not like he was soliciting it from her and others. They made a, a agreement, I guess, a verbal agreement, and she was going to be his garden tool for as long as he wanted her to, and uh, he would pay her and dine her. And buy her whatever she wanted. Okay. That's just the deal it seems like Kim had with Big Papa. And then he wasn't liking it for whatever various reasons. And then she wanted to have the moral road of don't have your legs open to marry men. But now the shoe is on the other foot. And she feels she can have her legs spread, spread wide open as big as the Grand Canyon. To be able to be seduced by this Naomi or Naomi. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article. He said the Real Housewives of Atlanta star is dating a businessman. Name Naomi She something. Sayo. Sources close to the new couple. Tell TMZ. We're told Nene's new man owns a couture suit company in Charlotte, North Carolina. And he hails from Liberia, Africa. Though it's unclear how long they've been dating. It's interesting, I was supposed to say. Peter Thomas, the ex-husband of fellow Bria uh, Roa star Cynthia Bailey, played matchmaker here, introducing Nene to Naomi. Okay. Child, then it's got a picture of Portia with uh, Simon. Then Nene and Naomi is in the middle. And then it seems like Shamia and some other person. It don't look like her husband. So maybe it was just a friend. And they were all at the Nalithia Lounge celebrating. Okay. It was a birthday party. She was saying her birthday party. They were celebrating. Um... And Brent, her son that she had with Greg, had surprised her out in a club or lounge setting that they have in Duluth. And uh, she was thanking him on her Instagram account. But going back to the article, it says, Nene sparked dating rumors this week when she was pictured standing next to a handsome man at her birthday party in Atlanta. The birthday bash, a surprise organized by her son Brent. Went down at Nene's Lanithia Lounge in Georgia and she was surrounded by family, friends, and celebs like Kiki Wyatt and Portia Williams. But, uh, plus, Nyoni, uh, well, we just call him Mr. Nylon. Okay, the fella in the purple suit or lavender suit, like pastel lavender color. Okay, Nene foray back into the dating scene comes three months after she lost her husband, Greg, to a long battle with cancer. They were married for over 20 years. And TMZ is wishing her good luck on her dating adventures. Now, what do y'all really think? What do y'all really think? Is this something they just put out on us? Just like we really think some of us. Uh, Portia's just with Simon G for the notoriety. Not for him, but for her. Of having a man, so-called a billionaire, and this is the storyline she's portraying on her show that's flopping day by day, okay? It, it, it don't need to go out for no hiatus just because of the holidays. They just need to end the painful um, episode and season this Sunday. I mean, we don't need no more. We really don't because it's not going to get better. It's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. She's pretty much have accepted that this is a line of work that she's going to partake herself into and get her money from. Which, like I said, ain't nothing wrong with it. If that's the way you swim, then I hope you have a boat with paddles, okay? Because when the shit starts sinking... I hope you know how to swim. Okay, baby? I hope you know how to swim. Or have some glue or something to plug them holes, okay? To keep you afloat until you can get to the next job assignment. 
Okay, maybe getting back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and looking for your dish nation job. Okay, so you put them into hiatus, both of those well paying gigs, just so you can have your own show to solidify yourself just a tad bit away from your castmates on the show that helmed you to be who you are today. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know who's giving you advice. I don't know if it's Nene and, or you giving Nene's advice or how you can wrap yourself around, uh, Nigerian men or African men and you will be set for life. But nine times out of 10, if they're going with the old school and they're picking up on past traditions that were held sacred in their culture uh you're not gonna be the only wife uh portia and nini if you're thinking about dating this man naoni uh because their custom may be or they may be real close to keeping their customs intact well you won't be the only woman in his life he could have slews of them it just depends on how much he can afford to take care of the wife and the children he had with her so technically you may not be number one you may be number 41 <laughs> you get what i'm going with this but personally and all truth and all you know kidding aside if nini is messing with a married man whether he's transitioning out of his marriage to someone else and he's kind of sort of living separate from this person and they've actively put something in writing in the court system that they're legally separated pending uh irreconcilable differences divorce uh, technically he's still married and in the eyes of the lord and the law you're so wrong for what you're doing nene okay you're so wrong for what you're doing and sometimes it's not good that you go ask certain friends, which, you know, Peter Thomas was your foe at one time. You did call the man a bitch. Okay, you really did. And that wasn't really called for. It was cute. It was a good chuckle at the time when you said it. But then after thinking about it, that just wasn't a good look because you disrespected him as well as disrespecting your girlfriend, Cynthia, for doing so. And I think y'all had a little riff. And he didn't want you to be around. Well, he didn't want Cynthia to be around you because how things had transpired. But I guess he got over it. You got over it. Y'all moved on. Cynthia and him got a divorce because he wasn't happy with her in the bed. Or just in general. <laughs> Cynthia was just too slow for him. Okay. So I'll say this to say that. I said that to say this, Nene. Watch your step, baby. You're just getting your groove back. Three months, I think it's a little too soon. Unless you've always been this way when Greg was sick. And you was already out there. It's just on the hush, hush. And even if that was so... I think you still need to slow your roll a little bit. I mean, you could be seen with people, but I wouldn't attach myself as saying that this is the new person I'm dating. You know, you could have just said it's a friend. You know, we're getting to know each other. Da 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 da. Just give us little to no information. Just let it happen, and then you know, when things are as you want them to be, then come out with him. But like I said, if you did to do the man still somewhat uh, married in a sense, then you owe Kim Zosiac apology. You really, really do step up your big girl panties, put them on, be a true uh, woman, and admit your faults, okay? Because you can't be a spade and call somebody else a spade and you want to throw the rocks and hide your hand. No, we can't do that, Nene. We can't do that. So if you're going to forge your head and it is some infractions going on, go on and make that apology. Because rest assured, when it gets down to Kim, she going to say what she going to say and it ain't going to be pretty. And I'm going to be like on her side like, yeah. Yeah, she deserved everything you give to her because she didn't waste no time telling you you should close your legs to married man, men trying to embarrass you, trying to put you down. So, yes, Kim, 
I think it's time for you to crank up your social media. Get on there and shade Nene a little bit. I'm just saying, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. That's what I always say when you want to be petty. But if you want to take the high road, go ahead, honey, take the high road. Even though she embarrass you, tell me you needed a scooter. Tell me where's your scooter. This would be the perfect ideal time to get her back, girl. I'm just saying, Kim, you're looking good. You got the full court advantage, honey. And, of course, Andy's back there laughing his ass off. Like, I knew the woman was off her rocker. But now she's finna commit social media suicide by trying to step out and pick at Kim as much she did on the show. And technically, I just feel Nene, she wants to be white. I, I mean, I, y'all may get on me about it. But just looking at her as season, went out the season, went out the season, episode, when her and Kim were going back and forth, she wants to be white. She really does. She blunts her hair down to the bone. She only want to associate herself with the upper echelon. And, you know, of the Caucasian race as well. I don't know. Nene's just, she's too much. She's too much. And she definitely went overboard with trying to boycott her own employer. That that was not a good move. Not a good move at all. It seems like baby girl, her sister, Portia, is going to be going down that same hellacious road where they can be possibly ending up in bankruptcy messing with these men and uh, I don't know I don't know because you can't tell nobody when to start dating we just hope that they're dating somebody single so they don't have to have so many hurdles to jump over to truly find happiness with that mate you know what I'm saying guys but that's all I got honey if it is true Nina you should be ashamed of yourself and you should be whooped up the crack of your behind honey I'm just saying girl I'm just saying keeping it real keeping it down like four flat tires not a good look not a good look not a good look okay but that's all I have for this video guys like it love it gotta have more don't hesitate but uh to click on the notification bell to catch my videos when um you'll be notified that i just dropped one for viewing don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you so inclined to want to do so because i always want you to have a choice you know what i'm saying because when you rock with me we rock down hard all right that means you get down with what i'm saying you may not on 100 full accord but you might be like i can get it i can get 85 percent. i can get 85 percent. you know what i'm saying ain't gotta be 100 percent all the time i can take 85 with your subscription but and it don't cost you anything okay are you gonna get a laugh you're gonna get a chuckle you're gonna get something <laughs> or a little gem dropped on you so and all of it's free all of it is free and I would like y'all to share my videos and like my videos, okay? You can just, every time you come in the house, just hit that like button. Sit on down somewhere and get ready for the show. Because it's going to be scandalous. Yes. I'm talking about you and me when I am putting the commentary to you all. Giving it to you 100% raw and uncut. All right. But guys, I will see y'all next video. And y'all be breezy. Good night.